Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Chotwani once again from learnhyperinformation.com. So recently I was working with Docker and after a long when I started my Docker desktop, I was getting this error called Docker failed to initialize. Docker desktop is shutting down. Okay, so I did a small fix and after that started working. So I thought let me record a quick video on this that in case if you are also facing the same issue, how you can fix it. So in order to fix this, you don't have to uninstall or reinstall or you don't have to restart your system at all. Okay, there's a small setting file that you have to change and everything will start working. If you talk about a couple of posts, Stack Overflow suggestion and Docker community, many people have reinstalled this and started working, but without restarting or reinstalling also it should work. Okay, let me show you how you can fix it. So in order to fix what you can do, you can actually go to your C drive. Okay. Uh, I'm talking about Windows as of now and let's go to users folder. So this is my user which is I user. So the moment I open this user, now I need to search one folder called app data. Now in case this folder is not visible to you, you can click on view and make sure you check this option called hidden items. Okay. The moment you uncheck this, you will not see hidden folders. So make sure this option is enabled. Once it is enabled, you will see app data. Open this and now you will find one folder called roaming folder. Click on this folder and here you will get Docker. Okay, so you can see we have Docker and we have something called Docker desktop. So open Docker and here you will find all the files. Okay, and here's a very interesting file called JSON source file. Now, if you try to open this, uh, just open with notepad or notepad plus plus or sublime text editor, whatever editor you're using and you will find this file is actually corrupted. Okay. You can see we have null, 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 right? So this file is actually corrupted now because of that Docker is not able to start, but the actual file should look like this. Okay. So if you see this file, right, this file have key value pairs and the couple of settings, which is required for Docker in order to start. So this file is actually missing. So what you can do, uh, you can simply delete this file. You don't have to delete complete Docker folder. Just delete this particular JSON file and it should work for you. Okay. So at this moment, if I try to start before deleting, let me show you if I try to open Docker desktop, it should give me that same error, which I showed you just now. Okay, it's not opening. Let me try again Docker and run as administrator. Okay, it will take few seconds and yes, you can see I got this error. So what I will do, I will go back to the same folder, delete this JSON file. That's all you need to do. And after deleting what you can do, just uh, make sure you restart the Docker instance if it is running. Okay. So if it is not running, it's good. But if it is running, delete this. And uh, now okay, let me delete it once again. Yeah. Now just go back and start Docker again. Okay. Just search for Docker desktop, run as administrator, or you can open normal as well. It's up to you. So let me try in a normal mode first. Okay. You can see it's loading. It's taking some time and yes, here you go. You can see you will get this option like our service agreement has changed. So click on, I accept the terms, click on, I accept and yes, we are good to go. So basically. You can see the moment I restarted, right? The Docker instance, this settings file got created again. And this time, if I open this, you will see the valid, uh, the key value pairs. And can you see this? All these values are updated now. And if I show you the Docker engine, it's starting now. It will take a few seconds and the Docker engine will start. Okay. So that's a very quick fix. So again, a quick recap, go to your user folder your current user app data in case this is hidden make sure this is you're able to see the hidden files go to roaming go to docker files delete the existing settings file and restart the docker the moment you restart the docker you will get this file and you can start using this docker right so it will take few seconds once the docker engine is up and running i can start working with docker yeah that's all from my side so in case this video helped you in any manner then do support this channel subscribe right now share with your friends and colleague and let me know if you have another question in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye